welcome to another brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So, we know from the last episode the cows have got no food and there's um, a big pile of poo in the pen as well. So, I think it might be uh, time that uh, we came to the uh, cows rescues and, uh, and cleaned the pen out and uh, got them fed. So, we'll uh, head up there with the uh, bale... Uh, spike and then we have to go and fetch a bucket we need a bucket and uh, we'll uh, get that on the back there I don't know how easy that's going to be to use with this system but um, the uh, the bale spiking is not too bad so I rather hope that it turns out that um, the uh, the bucketing of the poo is not too bad. And please record it when we did actually, because I, I can't remember. There's either 13 or 19 thousand liters there, and um, that's going to take a while, um, especially with the smaller equipment. So it's good that uh, we, you know, we've sort of noticed it in time, and it's something for me to <laughs> be aware of um, I just couldn't believe that the cows had eaten all of that feed so quickly uh, it just I don't know it just didn't seem to to uh, make sense but uh, anyway they have and uh, it's good because it meant that they were producing milk although it does now mean that their health is dropping so milk production is going to drop off but um, I think I just got so waylaid with sort of ploughing these you know sort of two massive fields um, and um, <clears throat> and uh, finishing off the hay in the second field that I, I, I completely just slipped my mind which you know it happens unfortunately on FS you get you get to uh, you know waylaid with uh, other things and before you know it you know your animals are out of feed but unlike uh, the seasons mod giants version of it is not quite as harsh and none of them have died <laughs> thankfully um i didn't mind the seasons mod actually when it used to kill them do you remember the good old days uh when it used to flash up at midnight you know nine animals died because you didn't feed them you cruel man <laughs> so uh you know but it's not quite so severe this time um but uh, yeah, we need we need to uh, we need to get them uh, sorted out today, and then that will probably be it then for winter. Um, I think the next episode, we unless some of the jobs come available, um, we may well find ourselves in uh, spring and getting ready to plant that mammoth field. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> not looking forward to that one. Um, what we are hoping for is quite a bit of snow over winter and frosts and stuff like that. Obviously it will help break down the land because the only way unfortunately in 1950 that you could pull the land down if you ploughed it in the winter was to drag it and you needed sort of there to be not much clod in, in there. Um, so you needed it to have weathered well. Um, right, we'll uh, we'll get four bales out. All right, round bales twelve. No, we want four. We'll do four for a start and just see if uh, that works. Should be able to just back into them, shouldn't be no issues here, he says. At least this time we'll know how to and where to put the, the food, etc. Right. need enough to get that off the ground but not too much as it pushes it back into the bed cool. 
I forgot, steering is opposite. Um, might need to drop that down again, actually. Oh, I've got myself in a right pickle. I I told you this is not easy to use this machine. Right, let's try again with the Tynes level, shall we? Yeah, still not perfect. Anyway, I think I think that'll do. As you can see, we already got the uh, tractor and trailer in position this morning. Just make sure we're still carrying them. Oh, the times were not level at all, that's why it's not going in there. Oh dear. Right, let's do all that again. Right, let's drive forward. Let's put them level. The only thing about this forklift that I don't really like so much is that if you lower it down on the on the lift arms, it lowers it too much and then you're sort of just taking the very bottom of the bales but having it that high also means that it's a tad too high so it means now you're hitting the very top of the bale you know the top sort of quarter of the bale um, oh why didn't you open hello thank you all right as i say at least we know now where to put them If I remember correctly, they should just uh, should be a bale destroy trigger in there. Hopefully, that trailer's quite sunk on that tractor, isn't it? And there's nothing in there at the minute. All right, let's uh, lower that down, and in the vain hope that that uh, chews them up. I love this car barn, I really do. It's uh, it's very awkward to use, right? We're gonna have to unfortunately do it this way. There we go. There we go. They needed some gentle persuasion. So we'll go get the other two. It looks like we're gonna need slightly more than four. And then as I say, once we get this job done. We then need to uh, get the uh, the um, we then need to get uh, the bucket and then load that. Uh, don't need that on. I don't know what that's on. And then load the uh, manure into there. Like I say, there's not a huge amount there, but because we're going to be using this small tractor and a small bucket there's quite a bit there <laughs> for your modern day stuff that's a sort of two minute that's probably no more than about two and a half scoopfuls um, of, uh, of the bucket and uh, you've you've done the job but uh, unfortunately There we go, that's a bit better. Got it too far away the other time. Run over Daisy, she don't mind. Alright, so uh, we will uh, we'll probably listen to some music and uh, I'll see you in uh, a little while when we get these jobs done.
and I'm back. So, what have we learned today? We have learned that the bail trigger is an absolute pain in the bottom, but that rear forklift with the bucket is an absolute pleasure to use. Uh, honestly, that was much easier than using the telehandlers. Um, that went a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to, and a lot better than what I thought it was going to, to be fair. Um, so, and we also discovered that this John Deere A has an enormous vehicle in <laughs> trigger. <laughs> I was uh, trying to get in, well, you saw, I was trying to get onto the uh, Fordson N, and uh, this tractor just kept sucking my man all the way through the wall back onto the tractor. Um, but never mind. We're probably going to uh, leave this episode here. I've got a few little bits to do uh, to finish off. Um, but I can do them off camera. I've just got to wash the trailer out, wash the bucket out. Um, and then I think that will be it for the uh, day on the game. And then tomorrow will be December the 1st. And we've got a little bit of silaging to do. And that will pretty much, I think, cover the uh, winter jobs. Um off camera I'll just keep topping up the feed uh, and different things like that just just because as I say it's uh, it's uh, it, it can become a laborious job and very tedious to watch so I'll, off camera I'll do it. and then as I say the next episode unless something interesting comes up I will um, I will uh, we will be in springtime and it will be getting time and ready to to plant our soya beans and to plant um, our corn and stuff like that. But as I say, for this episode, I think I'm going to leave it here. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I've really enjoyed having your company on this episode. And don't forget, if you haven't already, to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>